through the Dana Mains one night. And he sees this car with the windows all steamed up. He says, aha, uh -huh. hey, hey. So he goes across a hand in his pocket, knocks at the window. Boy feverishly pokes his head out. Says, uh, pulls out a breathalyzer. He says, would you mind blowing that, please? He says, I will not. I just threw it out the window. <laughs> Boy, doing great last night. <laughs> ah, here's one you'll all know. Let's go something like, <coughs> oh dear me, what will I do if I do and now made in the garden? Something like that. <laughs> He's like me really well yeah.
Arkham Saint, Arkham Sail, Arkham Soldier, Arkham Sailor. Come and aim on it all, it'll talk me fame and favor. Come rich or come poor, Arkham ways, Arkham witty. Come and aim on it all, it'll talk me in for pity, for it's so dear to me. What will I do if I do an old maid in the garret? Nobody heed him, to fear all that he's pleading. Oh, I love him, say my in, we but got it. If I can't eat, get a man, I can surely get a parrot, but it's so dear me. What will I do if I do an old maid in the garret? Uh, he's dead scared to do this one because of his wee bit. As you know, back in the far east, there was a, in the country, the farmers used to go down to the, the market square every so often, beginning of the season, to pick up a, a man to plow their fields, milk their coos and other such things. So this is a song about the a woman that goes down, you know, she's a widow. And she's looking, she's not looking for a man to plow her fields and milk her coos. She's looking for uh, something else, you know. And this is a song, she goes down to them. She looks along, you know, they're all lined up. And uh, she looks along a lot of them for a big strapping, handsome man. But, you know, <laughs> he doesn't look very much like a plowman, does he? You've got to imagine it. <laughs> strapping handsome, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's him, I'll pass it around after this. <laughs> so, she goes up to him, and she starts saying to him, Come feel with me, Tambui, Tambui. Come feel with me, my love and my joy. Come feel with me, Tambui. Tambour, oh, such an old one, poor widow, am I? Aye, what am I going to sleep, you oh. <laughs> You'll sleep with the children, Tambour, Tambour. You'll sleep with the children, my love and my joy. You'll sleep with the children. Tambouré, tambouré, oh, such an odd one, poor widow, am I? Aye, but what the wee uh, buggers feel to the shot? Come sleep with me, tambouré, tambouré, come sleep with me, my love and my joy. Come sleep with me, tambouré, tambouré, oh, such an odd one, poor widow, am I? I hope a plowshare gets bent. We'll straighten it out, tambouré, tambouré, we'll straighten it out, my love and my joy. We'll straighten it out, tambouré, tambouré, oh, such an odd one, and poor widow am I. Aye, but what if my blow she hasn't long enough, eh? Six inches all day, tambouré, tambouré, six inches all day, my love and my joy. Six inches all day, tambouré, tambouré, oh, such an old one's and poor widow was I.
been uh, across in, you know, these stupid boys that go around with frock red coats and they're riding britches and they're big things chasing foxes. This is one of these songs. And I bet you know the chorus of that one. Dead simple. It goes something like. Tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, my boy's away. Let's hear you, the very back there, come on. Tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, my boy's away. Are you not drunk enough yet? Come on. Tally ho, hark away. I want off that. Come on. <laughs> On the first day of spring in the year ninety three, the chief for recreation was in this country. The kings come, the gentlemen, or hills, dales, and rocks. They all set out in jubilee in search of the fox. Tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, the boys away. When Bernard was sighted, he took later hell. He hard down the valley, he was running still. We kept his brush in view every yard of the way. And soon he took his cars right over the bridge. Tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, the boys away. When runner to the left to shoe boys, he made for the hollow, where none but the hounds and the footmen could follow. The gentlemen cried, watch him, watch him, what shall we do? If the hounds don't catch him, he will reach him, can we do? Tally ho, hark away. Pen and paper and something to make it well. And now I come to mention it, I swear it was no blank. For he sent them all a check upon the national. Come on, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, the boys away. To you, Mr. Casey, I leave my whole estates, and to you, Pat O'Brien, me money, and me plate. And to you, my ladyship, my brush, quill, and cap. For you jump to walls and ditches, and you never miss the gap. Tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, the boys away. Tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, tally ho, hark away, the boys away. Across the island during the holidays, we went to a place in Dublin called the Abbey Tavern, and there's a group of singers in there called the Abbey Tavern Singers, and we'll have the song from them. It's about Sir Roger Casement landing outside the island in a place called Banner Strand, and he tried to get the rifles and ammunition into the, the place, but uh, he was, the English soldiers were waiting on him there, the black and tans were waiting on him, and they catch, had captured him, took him to prison and hung him. This one's called Lonely Banner Strand.
Christ, that's all I was on my own. Yeah, so. You know what, people? This one's called uh, Carry Recruit. Crude. An Irish one. It's got a chorus, so belt it out. Come on, can you stand your feet? Ah, uh, one morning in March, I was digging on with me frogs on me feet and me spade in me hand. Sure, says I to myself, what a pity to see such a fine strapping lad put in turf from joy. What's your carry? I fall down the road, carry. I fall down the road. So I put her me frogs and shook hands with me spade. Then went to the fair like a dash in the young blade. And up comes the sergeant, he asked me to list. A sergeant to grass, stick the bob in me fist. What's your carry? I fall down the road. Carry, I fall down the road. Well, the first place they sent me, it was down by the quay. On board of a warship and for the Crimea with three sticks and a fiddle, our old with great sheets, as she walked on the water without any feet. But your carry I fall down the road, carry I fall down the road. Well, at Balaclava we landed quite sound, all cold, wet, and hungry. And next morning for action, the bugle did call, and we had a hot breakfast of powder and ball. But your carry a fall down the road, carry a fall down the road. We fought at the Alma like wise and Kerman, but the Russians they filed us along the dam, far and scaling the wall. There we sat lost an eye. On a big Russian bullet, run away with me, boy. What's your carry? I fall down the road, carry. I fall down the road. Well, the doctor was called, and he soon staunched me blood, and he gave me a fine elegant leg made of wood, and he gave me a medal and ten pence a day. Contented with shillings, I live on the half day. What's your carry? I fall down the road, carry. I fall down the road. What's your carry? I fall down the road, carry. I fall down the road. Very cynical anti Jack, uh, anti King George type song, Jacobite song. Come ye of the France, come ye then by a woman, saw ye Jordy Wells, and this bonny woman, were ye at the place? Cut the cattle who see saw ye Charlie's guys riding on a goose egg. Charlie, he's a man. There's the good who taught he's done all he can. Walk and leave you to do near come a blade. Lincoln, like my lordy, he would drive a trade up the loom of Charlie. Chucky's game to France. And the company's lady there to learn to dance. Madam, are you ready? They'll be back be alive. Bells to risk and lord, they probably may they thrive to dance a jig majority. Hi for Sandy Dawn, hi for Cockalorum, hi for Bob and John. I'm the sea one for them, money's the sword and lands. Swings a teal and hurdy, how they'll skip and dance Out of the bump of Geordie Come here with France Come here in my own and saw ye Geordie Wells And this morning woman, were ye at the place? Got the cattle who see saw ye Geordie's grace 
I met a maid, she asked me trade, and a sailor John said I to my way. Away you shanty, my dear Annie. Oh, oh you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? I went to Tiffany's, I took her, I did not mind expense. I bought her two gold earrings, and they cost me 18 cents. To my way. Away oh, you shanty, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Says she, you lime juice sailor, now take me home today. But when we got to her cottage door, she asked to me to say, To my way, away you shanty, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Well, me flash money's a Yankee, with his hair cut short behind. He wears a pair of long sea boots and he works in the black ball line. To my way, away you shanty, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? He's homeward bound this evening and with me he will stay. So get a move on, sailor boy, get cracking on your way. <laughs> to my way, away you shanty. My dear Annie, oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? I wrapped me glad rags around me and to the docks did steer. I'll never court another girl, I'll stick to rum and beer. To my way, away you shanty, my dear Annie, oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Me boots and clothes are all in pawn. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, and it gets to draft around Cape Horn. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, oh, you pinks and poses. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, then Liverpool girls don't need no combs. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, they comb their hair with kipper back bones. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, oh, you pinks and poses. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, me dear old mother said to me. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, me darling son, come on from sea. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, oh, you pinks and poses. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down, just one more pull will see us through. Oh Go oh down, God. you blood red roses. Go oh down, for we're the boys to kick them through. Go oh down, you blood red roses. Go oh down, oh, you pink sun poses. Go down, you blood red roses. Go down. Thank you. This one's called Jacobites by name. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not called chorus. <laughs> Join the words. Ye Jacobites by name, land and ear, land and ear. Ye Jacobites by name, land and ear. Ye Jacobites by name, your thoughts I will proclaim. Your doctrines I'm a blame, you shall hear, you shall hear. Your doctrines I'm a blame, you shall hear. What is right and what is wrong? By the law, by the law. What is right and what is wrong? By the law. What is right and what is wrong? A short sword and a long. A weak arm and a strong. Forty draw, forty draw. A weak arm and a strong. What makes her oh extra ye? In the far, in the far. What makes her oh extra ye? In the far. What makes her oh extra ye? 
so what the assassin's knife? And hands a pair of slight with bloody war, bloody war. And hands a pair of slight with bloody war. So let your skins away, say the state, say the state. I let your skins away, say the state. Let your skins away, adore the rising sun. And leave a man alone, say his fate, say his fate. And leave a man alone, say his fate. Each jack of ice by name, and the deal, and the deal. Each jack of ice by name, and the deal. Each jack of ice by name, your parts are well to play. Your doctrines are well to play. You shall hear, you shall hear. Your doctrines are well to play. Slightly unusual performance because uh, I've got this hellish sort of uh, cough. Uh, it's not that it affects my voice, you know, because uh, I'm being impossible, you know. But I've had to give up smoking and I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> it's kind me forgetting things and switching, which tends to put some folk off. Uh, start off with a hymn. <laughs> Change my ways, okay. Ever since I had this illness <laughs> on Saturday, you know, I've taken this to heart. Adventists and Hard Shell Baptists will know that chorus, you know, it in. Now you've read about the lion who killed a man with his claw. Samson put his hand in the lion's jaw. I read that beast killed him dead. Bees made honey in the lion's head. Christian Lord, right? <laughs> plenty of verses I'll convert you. Yeah. Well, they tied old Samson while walking along. They looked down on the ground, he saw an old jawbone. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Something simple. <laughs> 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 oh, well, I do the one that he asked for right now because there's a chorus I would every stealing from Alex Campbell. <laughs> they got no shit. Uh, this is the, the power cut song, which also. I've been sort of flogging to death for the past six months. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard it, you know, it's a, any sort of strangers here. It's about the American power cut when they had no electricity or light. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, simple pleasures. And the birth rate went up by 70%. The thing is, you got this uh, sequel. Uh, about a month ago, you had this flood in Venice. A couple, uh, well, no, you didn't. It was some time ago, but you had a report about a flood in Venice last year and uh, none of the people could get to the boozers and other young lads for weeks on end and it seems the birth rate went up by over a hundred percent in Venice and this sort of bears out what I've been saying you know whiskey is the best contraceptive in the world you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know who isn't it time bombing the Chinese you want to drop whiskey on them <laughs> yeah, still never saw the buggers out <laughs> Also, Barbara Castle doesn't know what she's doing. You know, just, her mind boggles. <laughs> and breathalyzer. You know, but the only government measure to increase productivity has been that. <laughs> increase in the family allowance. And, uh, 
I breath of life. <laughs> favourite recent topical news story about Barbara Castle falling off the pier at Scarborough, being rescued by George Brown who gave her the kiss of life. She turned green. It's <laughs> 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 green up here already. Tonight, oh, news travels fast. <laughs> this chorus. There's only 90 verses, I'll not detain you long Now Uncle Sammy blew a fuse, which caused the lights to fail And plunged the nation into gloom, come listen to my tale From Alaska down to Panama, from Hawaii to New York Ten people out of nine agree it's better in the dark Like any other night, and his house in semi darkness, his white ball in a fright. John, John, the power's gone, the TV's off the spout. But John just pulled his trousers down and blew the candle out. <laughs> from Alaska down to Panama, from Hawaii to New York. on the floor. She murmured, John, now come, we never thought of this before. From Alaska down to Panama, from Hawaii to New York, ten people out of nine agree it's better in the dark. Ah, yeah. ah, nine long months of Boston gone and there's a bill to pay. Dr. Kildare and all his men are working night and day. Must be properly planned, but a packet of three is hard to see when darkness rules the land. <laughs> from Alaska down to Panama, from Hawaii to New York, ten people out of nine agree it's better in the dark. John Citizen has changed his ways, he's joining in the fight. A longer, darker power cuts, he wants them every night. He won't go off to war, he's a better plan instead For out of darkness comes the light, he'd rather go back to bed From Alaska down to Panama, from Hawaii to New York Me, they're going about it the right way. <laughs> uh, this is a, an Irish song which is a bit unusual because it's. You had the uh, eight Irish rebels who were captured and shot in a castle, you know, one of these sort of incidents you had periodically for the past few hundreds of years. And uh, when anything like this happened, you had all the sort of patriotic songwriters. Uh, delved into the incident and immediately composed songs and you get dozens of songs about ranging from brilliant songs to a load of uh, what's it about any particular incident and this particular shooting at a council called Drumbo not Drumore, Drumbo uh, puzzled them because the Irish rebels had been captured by fellow Irishmen you know the usual formula was to blame the bloody Saxon uh, but in this case the the Irishmen were captured, you know, by Irish, uh, jailed by Irish. Uh, the judge was Irish, the jury was all Irish. They were sent to um, a prison where the governor was Irish. The firing squad was Irish. And uh, as hard as they could look, they couldn't find a Saxon in sight, you know. So they wrote this song called The Castle of Drumbo. 
changes the tempo and I've tried singing that in three, four time, two, four time, four, four time. And tonight we just, Archie and myself decided to compromise on three, four time. And I nearly <coughs> made it. <laughs> now I'll do this. Says 
same I'd make her run for Frisco But her daddy's got daddy Hey pretty mama Papa's got them Policeman, mommy walked the street. They got together while they were on their feet. Hey, pretty mama, papa's got them deep and on. Yes, if you go too deep and on, put your money in your shoes. Publicity mad after insulting a judge. Who knows what would have happened? You might have got on television this time. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. This is my anti Polish song. <coughs> um, which, you know, once again is a protest against the breathalyzer. When, uh, I'm not driving. Oh, Tara. When we get home rule, we're going to sort of arrest any pedestrian who's on the streets after 11 sober. <laughs> uh, it's becoming so confusing now. They're saying, you know, can I tell the polis from ragmen, you know? They all got balloons. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The anti-polar song, which, for those of you who learned it, you know, can join it. It was doing in old Invertotti. The Gestapo were out on their beat, looking for murder and arson, and drunks as they'd stood down the street. No two of the chief constables' agents. Had notebooks quite full of names. Forty men, three women, and a dog for being up close and late. <laughs> Still punishable by death, you know. <laughs> Stop hanging, they kick you to death. <laughs> hey, it was twelve o'clock when they found it. Lying there just like a log Was a badly bashed about body Tire marks scorched up its fizzle <laughs> I wrote that line myself The hot price Tom Baxter did <laughs> They went through the usual procedure Kicked it to make sure it was dead <laughs> Then they went through its pockets and shared out its cash and smoked all its fags while it bled. <laughs> then they lifted up his body, one at its head and its feet, carried it up to an alleyway and dumped it on another man's beat. <laughs> Final verse. It was four o'clock when they refound it. I wrote that line as well. <laughs> Rocked up in an old chip shop door. 
It was naked by now, we are no ruined its neck. Not wanted on beats three or four. <laughs> the story of the two polars. One said the other one, can you lend us ten fags till the shop shut? stories and jokes and if it was going to be a seller to Rhodesia you'd have racist jokes like what black and cleans Wendy's Shammy Davis Jr. and you know all these or uh, whatever yeah you know or if it was going to be a move away from the common market the Audi Grisa Volkswagen you run over an Italian you know, and so on you know Tara. But, you know, you had them coming in series, you know. A hard line with the East would be, how do you break a Russian's finger? Punch him in the nose, you know? <laughs> and so on, you know. They came in waves. You saw who to hate, you know. They even had what's yellow and says cheap, cheap of Chinese hood. You know? <laughs> Went through all the races. You could see what the government was going to do. You could predict, you know. jokes have been going out recently. This is it, you know. I'm gonna get kicked out of the common market and form a sort of Central African Federation with Ian Smith. <laughs> See it coming. The master race in Africa gave me a kick in the eye. They didn't agree with democracy, declared their UDI. They sat on me and spat on me and challenged me here to fight. It's had assorted them for sure if the bastards hadn't been white. I'm the boy to freeze them, I'm the boy to squeeze them. Silver tongue will please them, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tie their arms, I'll tie their legs, I'll tie their tongues up too. And I'll kick them in the teeth like the Tories never could do. Last verse, a bit of nostalgia. It's always going back to the days when the trade unions were working for the people who paid them. Because most of the officials were sort of people who'd worked at one time or another. I know Oxford graduates and geniuses like they're using now. <laughs> they were all scrabbling about for knighthoods. <laughs> you know, yeah, the, the unofficial motto of the Scottish Trade Union Congress used to be uh, non illegitimae carborundum. Which, as you all know, means don't let the bastards grind you down. <laughs> yeah. But now they've got that Latin right, you know. It's 
Some working men in Birmingham began to kick up a noise. So I enlisted the help of the big trade union boys. They soon came out in favor of my economic squeeze. In return for a couple of knighthoods and a dozen OBEs. I'm the boy to freeze them. I'm the boy to squeeze them. Silver tongue will please them. I'll tell you what I'll do. As you can tell by my accent, I'm a cockney, so I'd like to sing a. <laughs> no, I'd like to sing a couple of Geordie songs tonight. Uh, you'll have to join in the chorus, otherwise, it'll be absolutely hopeless. And uh, co the first song's Johnny Booker, which is slightly sad. No, uh, the chorus is I do believe, I will believe. Old Johnny Booker was a gay old bugger, and a gay old bugger was he. <coughs> Way out Johnny Booker, he lived by cell. As long as he had perfect health, he got contel. <coughs> he took contel he sell a wife to live with him for the rest of his life. Singing, I do believe, I will believe. Old Johnny Booker was a gay old booger, and a gay old booger was he. Why Johnny Booker's wife she had a bad leg The doctor ordered her to bed He calls to Johnny and he says to him You'll have to rub your wife's left leg with gin Singing I do believe I will believe Oh Johnny Booker was a gay old booger And a gay old booger was he Way out Johnny Booker, he thought it was a sin To rub his wife's left leg with gin He poured the gin straight down his throttle And he rubbed his wife's left leg with a bottle Singing, I do believe, I will believe Oh, Johnny Booker was a gay old booger And a gay old booger was he Way out Johnny Booker went fishing in the river That was the end of a perfect liver He would have been saved where well, there isn't any doubt But there was no booger there to pull Johnny Booger out Singing I do believe, I will believe Oh Johnny Booker was a gay old booger And a gay old booger was he now God made the bees and the bees made honey God made man, man made money God made Wilson way, Wilson made sin We'll have to dig a hole to put the booger in Singing I do believe, I will believe Oh Johnny Booger was a gay old booger And a gay old booger was he Hello there. <laughs> um, how long have we got? For keep singing. Wait, we got. <laughs> keep singing. No, we've got a little story here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not, not be our line. Uh, you know how the Egyptians and the Israelis are great friends at the moment. <laughs> well, it hasn't always been like that, you know. And uh, many years ago. You know how Moses was found floating down the river Nile in the bulrushes by Pharaoh's daughter? Way well, that was her story, so we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, if I'd been her father, I would have given her a fair skeleton, because you know what the Egyptians are like. Anyway, <coughs> he was brought up in Pharaoh's palace, and he got the best everything. Can he clubber, loads of food, public school, 
Then he'd done off to university where he graduated in civil engineering, you see. Well, that's a story anyway. And uh, after graduating, he goes down to walk for Pharaoh in the clots on the banks of the Nile, making bricks. Well, it was, it was fairly bad down there, like, you know, sort of clots up to the knees. Well, Joshua was all right because he had his wellies on. But the <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, they, they were walking down the banks of the Nile, making these bricks for Pharaoh. One day, one of the guards comes to and he says, Who there, Moses, lad? Pharaoh wants a ward in his tent. So he, he heaves himself up the clots, like, and guns tappy lappy off up the tent. Brays on the tent door, where you know what the Egyptians are like, you had a bit hairy in that, and a couple of women in. And so he, Pharaoh yells, Come in there, Moses! And he says, Aye, yeah, you want a ward with us? He says, Yes. Your lads is gone slaw. You're not making enough bricks. I want mere bricks with knee straw. Moses says, knee straw. Lads will never agree to that. And he says, another thing. You know, we lads gone slaw and not making enough bricks and that. Them git cubes you was making in the desert for us, where the buggers have all got points on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so he says, go on, do your way. So he goes off, sees the lads, and he says, right lads, union meeting. He wants us to make mere bricks, knee straw. Just knee straw, says the lad. Never have that. So Joshua, he's a lad with a wellies on, you know. <laughs> he says, uh, there's, there's only one solution, Moses, lad. We'll have to dee off the promised land and eat. So he says, you took the very words out of me mouth there, Joshua, lad. So that night, they all got organised, got all that clobber and the kids and the things and loaded them on the bogies. Tied up the gallows, and right, day off to the promised land. So darkness falls. Now again, creeping up the, the city walls. Meanwhile, the guards is loping round the walls, you know, sort of flicking the tabash out at the end. <laughs> and uh, one of them sort of hears all this clanking and clattering and cut his hooves and that. And he, he says, Who? Oh, by Jove, I do believe the Israelites is doing off. So he looks and he says, Aye, that's right. Pharaoh, I'll never agree to this. So they lash off from the sea, Pharaoh, and he says, How there, Pharaoh, lad? Well, the Israelites is deeing off the promised land. We the hell's going to make bricks for you? So he says, How? Oh, that'll never do. Get all the guards out, shining armour on, because it was a Sunday. <laughs> Got me suit on, like, you know. He says, Gun on, get off after them. Meanwhile, back in the desert, the Israelites is all sort of lashing hell out their galloways and doing off a crying. <laughs> You know, and they're all face slate with thirst. Anyway, Joshua comes up and he says, that's the one with the wellies on you. <laughs> he says to Moses, Who oh, there, Moses, in hell that rush? You know what I forgot? The creator Brune, that's near Castle Brune, you know. <laughs> he says, wait, that'll never do. <laughs> Commercial. <laughs> so he says, I will have to have a bit miracle then. So he, he, he gans off and says, Obadiah, he's a lad with a postic. So he grabs his geek postic and he brays hell out of a rock and all the washer, water comes gushing out, you see. They all quench their thirst, loping off on the cuddies and that. <laughs> Couple of minutes later, you see, hey, look, back in the distance, there's all the Egyptians coming off after them. He says, right, dump the gear, get off with the bogies, jump on the galloways and we'll just go single. So they all go leaping off. And they're gaining on the Egyptians, like, and then they come to the Red Sea. Where well, hell, what we're going to do now? He says, there's only one thing for it, another miracle. So he gans up to Obadiah again, grabs his postic, brays hell out of waters, and all the waters parted Sunday, or Monday or something. <laughs> and all, all the Israelites gans tappy lappy across to the Promised Land, you see. Where... The Egyptians see this and they say, oh, grand, you know, sort of cross the Red Sea without any boats. We'll soon get them now. But when it gets to the other side, Moses, full of tricks. <laughs> Braze on the waters again. Now the waters that wasn't wes. And now the Egyptians was droomed. And that's how they got there. And that's it. <laughs>
trying to think of an Auntie Boo song now that the, well, the bloody bar's shut, for God's sake, you know. <laughs> you as well making the best of it. Uh, why not, you know? So. No, that's sort of bloody pop, you know. <coughs> Cough mixture. <coughs> Nobody believes this cough is genuine, you know. So, Yeah. I'm gonna start with this song in any case, you know, this is a... Uh... Well, I've introduced it for years as my favourite song, and it still is my favourite song. But very recently I discovered that I was labouring under a misapprehension. Um... Oh, that's political again. It's a song called Campbell, which um, um, I learned of a record of a man called Pink Anderson. <coughs> and I sang for many, many years, you know. And the, the fact was it's a record that's got sort of snide, anti-racist bits in it. And the fact that Pink Anderson was an albino negro <laughs> uh, struck me as really whimsical. <laughs> And it became a favourite song of mine. <coughs> also, my favourite guitarist of all time, and the one I've copied more than anyone else, he said, this is a true confessions bit, is a man called Blind Blake. <coughs> and, uh, what, last week, <coughs> I was able to buy uh, another record of Blind Blake. He made, I think, about 87 records. And you can get repressings of them under pirates and things like that, you know. And I keep trying to acquire them. And I bought this record um, last week. And I had seven tracks of them, sort of blurred. And four of them I'd heard before. But this song was one of them. And I find that Blind Blake also wrote this, you know. <laughs> and this is Campbell. And, uh, this made me think, you know, about British rule. Because all the militant Negroes in the United States seem to come from the West Indies, you know. And Blind Blake was one of them. He's from Bermuda. Apart from being the best blues guitarist who ever lived. Uh, and that includes a few of the Baroque uh, people who are hanging about at present. He was definitely a sort of militant because uh, he was, what, 1927 when he was doing verses about coloured men voting. It's a very courageous thing to say <laughs> in those days. I had a very courageous thing to say a couple of years ago. A song called Campbell, chorus. friend named Campbell. Campbell used to steal and gamble and made his living cheating all the while. Now we had a little game called Yoka, blackjack and dice and poker. He thought he was the smartest dude in town. But I found out on Monday Campbell got locked up Sunday They got him in the jailhouse down in town They got Campbell in that jail Ain't got no one to go his bail That judge he won't accept no fine Jailhouse 
remember once or twice Stop playing at them cards and dice He's in that jail house now That's the chorus That's also to reassure you I'm not one of you could do it worse than me <laughs> Volume's more important than quality <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're tone deaf, just select your own key and belt it out. <laughs> by-election <coughs> about Jim McLean uh, who's a sort of Paisley maniac who wrote some songs and um, Nigel Denver who's a Glasgow knit <laughs> this is me doing the sort of introductions for everyone who made a record of Jim McLean's songs um, and there's this poster, and they were all anti-royalty songs. Songs like NAB for royalty, and other scurrilous, common abuse songs. And uh, Jim McLean went up to uh, Winifred Atwell. Uh, no, what's her name? Ewing. Ewing, yeah. To, uh, and in, in the, the party headquarters, there's a portrait of the queen on the wall. And I said, with the darts in it. 
I said, no, no, uh, glass. And I saw a glass round about it. And they reckoned that, uh, oh, they're, they're leaving this image behind them now, you know. And they want to join the Commonwealth uh, and be faithful to the Queen. And they want to be independent in the com Commonwealth. <laughs> Shades of Wilson, you know. But anyway, and I live what? I live less than a mile from Hamilton. And I've sung for I don't know how many Scottish Nationalist concerts. And it was never even hinted that I'd sort of lend my services. <laughs> I don't know any singer that was asked. No, I know of a few. Uh, the thing is that everybody is being pragmatic. And this is the thing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a sort of pragmatic pacifist. This is true, you know, because it's dead easy to turn the other cheek if somebody's gonna slap you. It's not as easy as yeah, well, they're going to stick a bin up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, this is a pragmatic pacifist, you know. This is a, which means I'm not a pacifist at all, you know. And uh, Wilson's a pragmatic socialist. <laughs> In the same sense. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I don't know about Winifred Atwell. <laughs> Sure, we'll all be happy in the Commonwealth. <laughs> Eventually, she'll join the Liberals. <coughs> I'll do this song. Ah, no, I'll do this one. Oh, Scott.
with Tony hyphenated Armstrong. But the question of the day behind the pomp and play was who did Susie want? Jackie Chan, Haley. sung Scotland for a while. It sung at great effect in Middlesbrough recently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this song though. <laughs> Somebody writes a sort of Dundee football song. Mind ya, yeah, I wouldn't mind writing an anti Ansel song, you know, coming from Motherwell myself. Well, you've heard all oh, the Phillies and Sallies, the Norman Conks and the Santoy. Here's two more to add to your tally The Derry and Cumberland boys Now the Derry boys are devout Christians That's plain both to hear and to see Their language is really religious Jesus Christ, oh my God, FTP. <laughs> now the Cumbie boys are Roman Catholic. They chapel they've been once or twice. But Parkhead is their new Jerusalem. And Jogstein, the latter day Christ. When asked what they think of religion, they'll say our religion's all right. But these blokes are only religious when they want an excuse for a fight. So don't wear a green scarf in Britain or a blue scarf in Cumberland. Unless you're a heavyweight champion Or a hell of a quick on your feet Anyway, you know, the thing is, just as well, it wasn't the Rangers, you know because the English would have sent a gunboat up the river plate. <laughs> Caused a hell of a lot of trouble for every bugger. <laughs> Thanks. I'll last do this, um, the early morning blues. I'll do that. It's a blind Blake again.
I can't give them enough advertising. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't do them any good. Uh, yeah, he's been dead long, and he hasn't got any sort of obvious relatives. It's the thing, you know, blues singers and <coughs> the peasantry don't establish dynasties. It's called the early morning blues, as I said. When I get in tune. <laughs> I told you I was going to tap dance before I'm finished. You know. Got my belly button inlaid with emeralds. <laughs> Same and I'm with the end. <laughs> Just wait for it. <laughs> All the surprises. That's me. Yeah, PJ who splits us on the knickers, you know. <laughs> He gets them specially made, you know. I search for trousers that won't split. <laughs> you get these buggers. <laughs> That's what I said, you know. There's no fair.
it goes. Uh, ha, ha. Somebody got a guitar there. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I'll tell you what. Get the first string of that. And no, well, I'll t the best thing. Put it yeah, first. And I'll do an unaccompanied ballad. That's it. Ara pil mu. Thanks. Unaccompanied ballad. <laughs> Soldier Oh, yeah, it depends how long it takes to put a first string on. Well, give gives the first string and I'll put it on. And that's it. No, the thing is, I'll do, I'll do some of my children's songs, things like... <laughs> there was a wee woman come walking down the stairs. She coached him with his... Now give us a new one. <laughs> there was a wee woman come walking down the stairs. She coached him with his britches down. Thank you, sir. You'll know shite there. <laughs> ah, but I will shite here. No, but you'll know shite there. Ah, but I will. No, but you'll know. Ah, but I have. She was collected at Halloween recently. You know, <laughs> recently, you know, some years ago. Okay, so. Uh, the wee white knob. That's <laughs> <laughs> me becoming racist again. I wouldn't even mind a black one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, I'll do this Irish song with a chorus. I hope you'll join them because. This is sort of anti-war type songs. Well, there's been numerous anti-war songs, you know. You've got umpteen sort of official folk songs like Brave Wolf, songs about Napoleon, and uh, they've gained some popularity. But I think basically, you know, most of the sort of, these were sort of art songs Sort of Max Jaffa songs <laughs> oh, oh. Um, that were written by 18th century Ewan McCalls. <laughs> that are now, and they're very clever. You know, Brave Walsh has got a, a beautiful tune. And most of these sort of Napoleonic songs and heroic songs about Napoleon are beautifully written and they've got very, very nice tunes. This is what makes me think that they're written by people who are sort of clever and uh, making money at it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, you know, you can class them along with Rule Britannia and uh, some of the other popular songs. The only genuine sort of uh, war songs I've heard, which I would class sort of folk songs, which I've heard sung by the folk are generally derisive. Uh, you've got the ones where they lose their arms and their legs. And then you've got the impolite ones where they lose other parts of their anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, you know, I mean, you've, well, in England you've got things like, I don't want to be a soldier, I don't want to be a man of war. I'd rather hang around Piccadilly Underground, living off the earnings of some high-class lady. I don't want to bullet up me backside. I don't want to be like a shot away. I'd rather hang around Piccadilly Underground, and so on, you know. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. but um, I'm going to do another company song. This is. In the old days before television came in, the happy hunting grounds for the... Well, you know, you had two methods of uh, advertising. 
This is water, incidentally. Um, there are two methods of sort of recruiting. You couldn't tell people what a grand life it was in the army. Uh, and about the, the great weather at Aden. <laughs> and this is it, you know. So they had two methods, you know, you had the soft cell, where you got them paralytic and dragged them off. <laughs> and you had the hard cell, where you beat them over the head and dragged them off. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, the thing is, even then they were merciful and they preferred the soft cell. So the happy hunting ground was uh, Scotland and Ireland, where the natives were easily led to drink. <laughs> and you got all these Scottish and Irish ballads, which I call hangover ballads, <laughs> which were written the morning after, when they'd signed on for 30 years, <laughs> and were sort of anticipating parts of their anatomy being, um, what's it? <laughs> now this is an Irish one, where the guy's reminiscing and he'd been lucky, because he'd only lost his eyes and his legs. <laughs> <laughs> About four years ago, I was digging the land with me brogues on me feet and me spade in me hand. Says I to myself, what a pity to see such a fine strapping lad footin' turf in Tralee. With me to Renania, with me to Renania, with me to Renania, But apart from my friends and relatives, you know, <laughs> that's a dead easy chorus. Come on. It doesn't matter if you haven't got an Irish accent. If you're anti war, just go rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> So I butted me brogues and shook hands with me spade. I went off to the wall like a dashing young blade. I met with a sergeant who asked me to list. Or a sergeant a gara stuck the bob in me fist with me to Renania. With me to Renania. With me to Renania. Well, the first thing they gave me, it was a red coat And a white strap of leather to tie round me throat Then they gave me a queer thing, I asked what was that And they told me it was a cockade for me hat With me to Renania With me to Renania with me to run and you run and you run and yeah. And the next thing they gave me, they called it a gun. With powder and shot and a place for me thumb. Well, first she spat fire and then she spat smoke. She gave a great leap and me shoulder and you broke with me to Renania. With me to Renania. With me to Renania. And you Renania. And the first place they sent me was down to the sea. On board of a warship bound for the Crimea. Three sticks in the middle, all rolled round with sheep. Faith, she walked through the water without any feet. With me to Renania, with me to Renania, with me to Renania, and you Renania. When at Balaclava we landed quite sound. All cold, wet and hungry, we lay on the ground. Next morning for action the bugle did call, and we got a hot breakfast of powder and ball. With me to Renania, with me to Renania, with me to Renania. 
Well, we fought to the Alma like wise in Karman. But the Russians, they wailed us at the Redan. While scaling the walls there, myself lost an eye. And a big Russian bullet ran off with me thigh. With me to the Nanya. With me to the Nanya. With me to the Nanya. And you ran Nanya. It was there I lay bleeding all on the cold ground. Heads, legs, and arms lay scattered all round. Says I, if me mam and me clavines were nigh, they'd bury me decent and raise a loud cry. With me to Renania, with me to Renania, with me to But they called the doctor who soon staunched me blood And he gave me an elegant leg made of wood They gave me a medal and ten pence a day So contented with Sheila I'll live on half pay With me to Renania With me to Renania With me to I do, uh, said I do this song so well, you know. Good song to leave by. Ah, so, you know, mood music. Songs to piss off to. <laughs> to do, you know, sort of Harry Mary, the Rain. sinful saga of the seduction and downfall of Harry Mary. <laughs> Thing is, you've got a sequel now, which, uh, no, no, you, you got this, uh, well, you know, you had, the, the original song was, I'm no Harry Mary, I'm your no, and uh, then you got the sinful saga of the seduction and downfall of Harry Mary, and you got a song now, which I, Unfortunately, I haven't cleaned up enough to sing to. <laughs> well, again, well, you know, how's it going? Um, well, the first verse, you know, of course, I've cleaned up slightly. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, you might recognize the tune. It's not a parody, you know. This is, uh, you know, in Glasgow at present, you've got this fantastic <coughs> fashion for parody. Uh, things like. Um, you made me love you, you woke me up to do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got the son in the morning and the father at night, you know. <laughs> and um, come to me, my alcoholic baby. And every baby loves my body and all these. And um, I think that. In a neat little city called Glasgow, to the dance and I was bound. It was there I met Harry Mary, who flogs it for half a crown. <laughs> oh, her eyes were covered with mascara. She was black queen of Barrelan. And her baubles hung over her shoulders, held up by her big darkie's hand. <laughs> called a black velvet gland. <laughs> um, it's part of a long series like Alexander's ragtime gland. And <laughs> gland of hope and glory. <laughs> you got a duet for fairies called uh, This Gland is My Gland. <laughs> and 
Come on forever. And, you know, I sort of wonder who invents all these dirty jokes. No, you know, you know I'm driving along the car. You, it's only recently I've started inventing some of them. <laughs> um, you hear one, you know, sort of maybe it's sort of a weird train of thought, you know. Yeah. The whole series like that. The glandular ones, you know, that all came from this Chinese, you know, it had this haiku. 17 syllables sort of bit. And um, he got this Chinese poem that went uh, hand in hand, uh, uh, gland in hand, <laughs> gland in gland, gland. <laughs> <laughs> we started that, you know. And you have a whole other series that started with, you know, sort of, well, you can sort of continue from the frustrated movie producer, J. Uh, Arthur Wine. That's <laughs> 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 something to start from. Uh, after that, I'm not going to do Harry Mary. Oh, well, okay, I will do Harry Mary. You can all share rhubarb and Piss it off and uh... <laughs> She says something twatish like, no, it's just the way I'm stoning, you know. You know, you could say something brilliant like, oh, we ain't gonna stop. This was written by, well, I'd like to say it was written by a pair of fairies, but I can't. 
Ha, ha, ha. 